right. Now it's back in the room, so we can get started. And uh, Kevin Batchelor is going to talk about the ACMPS re-engineering effort. Uh, I have no idea what this is. So this is a new one for me. All right. Awesome. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> so, um, so the ECMPS re-engineering effort. Um, this is a plan for 15 minutes, and uh, I think more than five minutes. Uh, I'll be talking a lot. So. Uh, the basic idea of the ECMPS re-engineering effort is EPA is going to redo, rewrite, re-engineer, whatever you want to call it, the client tool. Um, so the client tool that we all love and hate right now is now I'm not back. Uh, uh, the client tool that we all love and hate is going to be converted into a browser-based application. So EPA is moving the client tool into the cloud. So it's going to be a, a totally browser-based online uh, application instead of the, the current desktop installed application that we use for the whole trade. Um, current client tool is going away. Why are they doing this? Because they just, you know, they just wrote the client tool here 2007, 2008, somewhere around there. They just, and it seems like it wasn't that long ago. What EPA has said that I've heard so far is they don't like doing tech support. And about half the calls that can be gets from users is installation problem, local database problem, shared database problem. And uh, it sounds like can't be basically sick and tired of being tech support. Uh, so it comes down to their productivity and their budget. That sounds that sounds like the primary drivers of this. It's not you, it's not me, it's not us, it's that. Um, so they're proposing to change our current XML or their current XML file format to JSON. It's very similar, only different. Uh, EPA claims that they're not changing any data elements. Believe that? Believe that? <laughs> um, obviously, we're going to have to update Green uh, 75. All the other vendors are going to have to update all of their packages. Um, one thing that if they do go to a browser based system, it won't be possible to use this offline. I don't know how they're going to address that because, like right now, you know, the you know we get these emails. The client tool is going to be offline. We can't use it online for this weekend, few days, while they do their quarterly updates. Um, I mean, if right now we still have to have internet access to submit, so it's not like that's a huge difference because the machine still has to have internet access. But there's definitely going to be some changes there. Uh, questions, concerns. Um, some users have brought up concerns about EPA being able to see pre little data. Because right now on your on your uh, desktop app, EPA sees nothing until you submit that. Some users are concerned about about that. I don't have a dog in this fight. If you think it's a significant issue, say something to EPA when when they ask questions. Uh, a question I haven't heard an answer to yet is if you have multiple users, like I know many of you do who have like environmental, uh, corporate level environmental folks in a shared database, can multiple users see the same piece of middle data before submitted? EPA hasn't answered that question yet. Uh, my next question for EPA and I have no idea what they're thinking here, is what's their transition plan? Maybe they're not far enough along this path to have a transition plan. I do remember back when we converted from the old flat file stuff to the current XML, it's four quarters, maybe five quarters, but it was a long transition. Um, so I'm hoping A is, is going to draw this out for a few quarters and not just drop off. When are you thinking 
don't think you need to have a software package that can. Well, that's a good question. Um, at one point, the EPA mentioned in 2023, but that was a while back. So I'll give you my best my best answer for that here in a second. Sure, sorry. Um, so the, uh, the only thing I would mention on the transition plan is uh, uh, assuming they give us multiple quarters like they did the last time this happened, um, it was several quarters and you know people could basically if you wanted to be on the bleeding edge you could sign up for the first quarter and then a few more people signed up the next quarter and then a whole bunch signed up and then finally the last quarter everybody else uh, converted over so uh, i still remember when we went through this conversion last time it was in july and we had a site call us we had breeze almost ready not quite and a site called us in the middle of July and said, oops, we um, didn't need to, but we signed up for the ABC MPL system. Can you help us get this turned in? So it was a scramble, but we did it. We did it. We got it in. And yeah. So anyway, if you can, try not to unintentionally sign up to be one of the bleeding edge <laughs> users. <laughs> Yes, there's a question. Um, Brian is saying that the last that he heard from the EPA, they are switching everyone 2023 Q1 no transition period. 2023 Q1 no transition period is the last two heard. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. All right, possible date 2023. There we go. Um, if you want to know more, one week from today, one o'clock Eastern time, uh, EPA is holding their quarterly or whatever it is. Kevin, uh, that's on birthday. That is, you're right. Kevin, that's your birthday. I can't think of anything I'd rather do on my birthday than listen to an EPA. <laughs> <laughs> So EPA has posted the webinar sign up details. There's the the, the website ecmps.candysupport.com. Go out there, find the you don't have to even sign up for it. They just posted the, I think it's a DC couple. So you now know everything I know about this topic. If you have any questions, I'll tell you right now. So, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks. That is the best thing you can do on your birthday. Of course not. Yeah, that's the ECMPS effort. I'm not sure what that amounts to, but uh, it, it's always a change. It's always a challenge whenever uh, they switch out because you know it's not going to be right the first time on their end, let alone our end. We'll do everything we can, but I remember the last time it was a. There were more errors on their end than we were on ours. We we were fixing their problems more than they were fixing ours. So, uh, informing them of their problems that's better than putting it. So, I love their answer. They didn't want to do customer support. <laughs> <laughs>